Thank you. Uh, so thank you, Susan, and thank you to Awakening Spirituality for providing this for forum to explore so many different uh, spiritual topics and practices. So the intention of this session, Awakening Meditation, is to create a vibrant online community of practice to enliven and support both our individual and our collective awakening together. So we explore meditation practices that help make us more resilient and sustain us through the many challenges of life. And so these once a month experiential sessions offer time to learn the practices. We have readings, sometimes videos, sometimes poetry to inspire us and space for sharing our experiences and insights to build that sense of connection and community. So it's through, I believe, both our individual and our awakening together that we can bring much needed insight and understanding to the many complex issues that our world is confronting right now. And I think together we can tap into that infinite intelligence and the freedom of the awakened mind together. So I'm going to start with a practice from my teacher, my Buddhist teacher, Thich Nhat Hanh, and that is the inviting of the bell. And so the bell invites us away from the busyness of our lives and to come home to ourselves, to come home to our bodies and our breath, to come home to this moment right now. So I'm gonna start with three sounds of the bell and I just encourage you to listen, breathe and feel yourself gathering together in this sacred space. So tonight we're going to be focusing on walking meditation. It's one of my favorite practices and it's one of Thich Nhat Hanh's favorite practices as well. And so walking meditation is an opportunity to take our practice off our cushion or chair and into our daily life. It's also a wonderful practice for those times that you just can't settle down. You've had a busy, stressful day and you might need to walk a little bit to kind of settle down. And, you know, walking be, can be done inside or outside tonight. Well, I know for sure I'm walking inside because it's still pretty cold here in Alberta. And we're going to be focusing on a form of slow walking meditation, which is lovely to practice inside. It's also lovely to practice outside, uh, you know, when the weather is nicer and we can be out in nature. There's something that is just so... Um, settling and can calm us when we take time to just be in the beauty of nature. So walking meditation is a spiritual practice and it's done in many traditions from Christian to Buddhist monasteries. 
And there's something about walking mindfully that helps us let go of our problems, our worries, that planning monkey mind that we all have. So how do we make walking a meditation? Because as you probably know, you can walk and think at the same time and you can keep thinking about your problems and planning and imprinting, as Ty says, your worries and anxieties on the earth and quite often not even noticing what's going on around you. Or we can focus on taking peaceful steps upon the earth intentionally slowing down and bringing awareness to the very act of walking itself. We can bring awareness back to the breath and be conscious of the feeling of each step we take, the feel of the ground beneath our feet, the earth. And walking meditation is not done with the intention of getting somewhere as we usually are but it's walking for the pure enjoyment of walking itself. As I said, uh, Thich Nhat Hanh, walking meditation was one of his favorite practices uh, until his stroke in 2014 and then his passing earlier this year. And there was always a hushed silence when Thai entered the meditation hall. And it was these mindful steps, but sometimes it almost felt like he was floating. And there was just his way of walking. You could tell that there was mindfulness and intention in every single step that he takes. Tai says, the practice of mindful walking is a profound and pleasurable way to deepen our connection with our body and to the earth. We breathe, we take a mindful step, and we come back to our true home, to the present moment. And of course, most of us are always in a rush, walking or running to get to the next activity or thing to do on our to-do list. And Thai always invites us to imagine we are walking in a sacred place. We would likely walk slowly with a sense of reverence. In fact, when we enter the meditation hall, we usually take our shoes off as a sign of reverence and then to actually feel the floor underneath our feet. But what if we did this every time we walk on the earth? Indeed, the earth is sacred, and we can touch her with every mindful step. And when we walk like that, somehow the earth sends us her energy. We feel more stable. Every step can be deeply nourishing. And so to walk in this way, we have to bring that awareness, that tactile awareness of walking into every step. Each step made that way brings us back to the here and the now. We can let go of our problems and our thinking. We go slowly. We let mindfulness be the light to light our way. And with each breath in slow walking meditation, we just take one step. And we might have been rushing all our life. But now when we start our walking meditation is the time to stop running and rushing from one thing to another. And so to be grounded to the earth is to feel the solidity of the earth beneath our feet. And to know that we're exactly where we're supposed to be. And each step, each breath is such a blessing. It reminds us that we are alive on this beautiful planet we live on.
So we're going to move into, first of all, um, just a standing practice. We're going to do a little bit of body sensing and movement just to bring us into our bodies. Um, and so I'm going to invite you to stand up. And Susan, I'm wondering if you can spotlight me so my screen is a little bit um, bigger. Um, so I know if I'm fitting in the screen or not and people can see me. All right, it's not spotlighting here yet. Do you want me to do it? Here we go. All right, so I invite you to stand up where you are and just stand with your feet hip width apart and just have kind of an easy sense of standing and take what we call a deep cleansing breath. So breathe in through your nose, pause a moment with your lungs full, and as you exhale, exhale through your mouth and just feel that sense of releasing, letting go. And take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, exhaling right down into the bottom soles of your feet and feel the sensation of your feet, the soles of your feet meeting the ground. And continue to breathe easily, just enjoying the natural sense of your own breath. And then soften your knees for a moment. And then let's just add an easy twist from side to side. Just let it be a kind of unwinding from your day. Feel your breath. Maybe the arms want to come up a little bit higher. And just enjoy that easy sense of twisting. And then just let it slow down as you come back to center. And then bring your awareness right down into the bottom soles of your feet again, feeling that connection to the ground, how you're standing, knees soft. And then gently begin to just shift your weight from side to side, just shifting left and then right, and just having that easy sense. And so some of the practices we're doing right now are called grounding practices to feel our feet on the ground and to help to calm and regulate our nervous system. Some of us get up into hyperdrive and especially if we suffer from a lot of anxiety or overwhelm, bringing these practices into our life can help. So this is just a gentle rocking practice. It soothes our nervous system. And then you can come back to center. And then gently rocking forwards and backwards. So walking, rocking into the balls of your feet, walking back into the heels. And just feeling that gentle movement forwards and backwards. This one's a little bit more difficult. Sometimes it feels like you could lose your balance. And just finding that easy sense. Staying with the sensation at the bottoms of your feet feeling the solidity of the ground beneath. And then coming back to center where you feel evenly balanced, left and right, front and back. And take a deep centering breath, breathing in deeply. And as you exhale, feeling that sense of just standing tall, relaxed, at ease. Continuing to breathe easily and bring awareness from your feet up to the ankles. Breathing in Mother Earth's energy, breathing up through the lower legs, the shins, the calves. Feeling into your knees with that softness behind the knees. 
And now feeling into the large muscles of the thighs. That sense of being grounded, feeling solid and stable. Breathing and feeling into your hips and your pelvis. And let's actually start to circle through the pelvis a little bit, just adding a little bit of movement there to release whatever we're holding. We hold so much in our bodies. It's nice to release and let go. And then circling around in the other direction. And then coming back to center. Just awareness to your breath. Feeling the breath in your belly. As you inhale, the belly gently expands. As you exhale, it gently releases. Feeling the breath up into your rib cage, up into the side body in the rib cage, breathing in, giving the lungs some space. And also breathing up into the chest, broadening across the collarbones. And this beautiful gift of breath, like a wave that moves in and through your body and your being. And feeling into your back and your spine in the back. Imagine slowly drawing energy up through the spine, through the lower back, the middle back the upper back. Just bringing awareness to how you're feeling and sensing your body. And bringing awareness now to your shoulders. Maybe taking a little roll of your shoulders up and down. Notice how your shoulders and your upper back is. Oh, what have we been carrying? go. And finally, just relaxing your arms down. Just feel breathing. Letting awareness flow down through your upper arms. Down through the elbows. Feel the inner hollow space of your elbows. Moving down through the forearms. And the wrists, feeling your hands, maybe spreading your fingers for a moment, and then just let your hands relax. We carry a lot of tension in our hands. And then adding some gentle stretches here. So do turn your palms forward. As you inhale, stretching your arms up over your head, whatever is comfortable for you. Turn your palms down as you exhale the arms down. Ah, beautiful. Inhale, stretch up into the sky and exhaling down. A few more times, two more. Inhale, stretch up and you feel the side body open, the rib cage open. Exhaling down. Last time, inhale up, reach through the feet and up to the fingertips and exhaling back down. Ooh, give yourself a little roll, continuing to breathe and feeling up into your neck now. You might want to just gently turn your head from side to side, releasing any tension, just noticing how the neck is. And then coming back to center. So your head feels aligned atop your spine, almost like you had a thread attached to the crown of your head, drawing you up a little bit taller. Continuing to breathe softly. And now bring awareness to your ears. 
and take your fingers on the outer edges of your ears and just as if you're unrolling the edges of the ears and working down the earlobe, the bottom. There's some acupressure points here that help calm and soothe our nervous system. Some self-care. And release your arms down and take a moment to listen. Listen to the sounds in your space. And take a moment to bring awareness to your mouth and your jaw and maybe just to release it. Imagine you're taking a big breath with a yawn. <sighs> Oh, release your mouth and your jaw. Feel it relax. And be aware of a touch of breath in and out through the nostrils. And bring awareness to your eyes. On your next inhale, squeeze your eyes tightly closed. And as you exhale, open and relax your eyes. Feel all those tiny muscles around the eyes relax. Feel the face soft. And feel the scalp soft. And now feel and sense your whole body. That feeling of being grounded down through your feet. Moving up through your legs, your pelvis, your torso, shoulders, arms, head, lengthening up through the crown of your head. And just having this sense of presence. Here I am. I have arrived. I am home in the here and the now. And so we're finally going to start our slow walking meditation. But to begin with, so when we're in slow walking meditation, we synchronize our breath and our steps together. So we're just going to start by inhaling as you shift your weight to the right and exhale as you shift your weight to the left. So inhaling and exhaling. So anytime we synchronize movement and breath, again, it soothes and regulates our nervous system. That's why walking meditation is such an amazing practice when we're feeling scattered and overwhelmed. All right, so now you can actually start to step and I'll see if I can show my feet here. So you're going to Inhale, take one foot, and exhale, take another foot. And you can feel that shift from the heel to the ball of the foot. And just maintaining that slow walking meditation. Now, your arms can relax by your sides as you walk. Or you can clasp your hands gently in front of you. Very reverential way of walking. So we're going to walk like this for about 10 minutes. So you can either in the room that you're in, walk in a circle. Or maybe you have a hallway somewhere where you can walk back and forth. And so I'm going to just invite you to explore this practice for 10 minutes on your own, but together online. So it's half past the hour now, and I will ring a bell when 10 minutes is done. But if you're out of earshot, maybe you can um, maybe have a device with you. I don't know. Come back in 10 minutes. And uh, we'll see you then.
So I hope you enjoyed your walking meditation. So walking meditation quite often is a way that allows us to sit. It prepares us for sitting meditation. So I'm going to invite you to um, just sit for a couple minutes here and just notice the effects of walking slowly and that breath and step and breath and step. So let's sit in silence for just another couple minutes and just observe the effects on your body, your mind, your state of being. Quite often in a Zen style retreat, you would have a period of sitting meditation and then some slow walking meditation and then go back to sit. So the walking meditation is always a nice break from that just uh, sitting still, but somehow the two just seem to support each other for bringing kind of that calm, peaceful state. 
So there's other forms of walking meditation and other forms that uh, Thich Nhat Hanh teaches and one of them is not quite so slow and it's taking four steps or, or you, you, you find your own count but like taking four steps as you breathe in and maybe five or six as you breathe out or maybe three or four. You learn to match your steps with your breath and then it's amazing how that automatically becomes your way of walking in the world. And so that's that way of taking our meditation off the mat and into the world. And then sometimes um, it's nice just when you're out in nature, out um, in the trees or the forest or by the ocean, just to not really pay attention to your breath or try to mindfully match that, but just open all of your senses to, to, to the beauty that's all around you. Um, and the other, um, the other thing that you can do with the, the walking meditation, even with the slow meditation, is add some words instead of um, the count to it. So for instance, with the, you know, taking four steps, you might go peace, is every step or you can make your own mantra up or i walk in peace so you can get really creative with walking meditation and one more practice that i love as well is making walking meditation like a prayer and so you might invite someone to walk with you it might be someone that's still living or someone that has passed. It might be someone that is sick or ill that can't walk. And so it's like you walk for them and you just carry them in your body and your heart. And so that's a, a lovely prayer walking meditation. So we are going to take a moment and i think uh, we forgot to uh, tell you at the beginning that if you wanted to uh, have some writing utensils ready to have that but you don't necessarily need to write but i just have a few questions for you to think about or write about and first of all it's just what was the experience of walking meditation of slow walking meditation like for you what did you feel in your body or your thoughts, what feelings came up for you. And the second question is, how does walking meditation compare to other forms of meditation that you've done? So I'm gonna give you, oh, let's give you um, maybe five minutes to either write about that or just think and contemplate about it. And then we'll have some time for um, sharing. Um, hopefully that we'll have some people that are willing to share about your experience. So take some time now just to think about your experience, write, whatever helps you process.
Um, so Susan, maybe we should stop the recording now. Um, otherwise, oh.